I had kind of a rough upbringing in Slam Diego. We lived on the south side of Slam Diego, and everyone knows about the crime and the stray cats and the Happy Meatwood. And how do you know Flick? He's my son. What was uh what was childhood like with Flick? It was awful. I got bit a lot. I got a terrible case of fleas too, and my dad, before he left, cheated it by pouring gasoline on me. He knew how to run his mouth. And just leaving me outside. Fleas died, and I died a little too. Dad left. We're back, Season 3, Episode 3, Poser Championship Wrestling. I am Flick, the Fist Meatwood, along with my broadcast partner, Chomps Madonnelly. And we are here for something really special tonight, Chomps. It is hella special. We're going interspecies tonight in the yellow cab for Sideshow 13. I'm talking about your favorite... Banana Foster? That's your oh, favorite. That's great. Banana Foster. Oh man. Along with his fancy friend and nemesis, Ricky, a dragon, Dreamboat. Ooh, this is going to be something. This it's, is going to be a gutter war. It's a battle. <laughs> it's going to be animal tastic. I can't wait to see what happens to the bananas tonight. Is the dragon going to fry them up? Turn Bananas Foster into Bananas Foster? I know one thing about this episode. Peter's not going to like it at all. Hey, that burger looks pretty good. Why don't you give it to me? Melted cheddar? Sauteed onion? I can't do that. Seared meat? Bacon? Ah. <laughs> Let me get down even better. Give it to me. Let's just go settle this in the ring. Do you want to do this? Yeah. Yes. You still want that burger? No, I submit. <sighs> you know what, Bob? You're the champ. Yeah. are inexpensive. You supply your favorite. Hey kids, do you like rock and roll? I love rock and roll. Put and another I... dime in the jukebox, baby. Play it again, Sam. Music, it's still pretty good. Especially...
Diego music scene, you cannot stop it. It is a machine rolling down a hill covered in slime. You cannot catch a machine on a hill rolling in slime. And to be fair, it would be a dick move to try to stop it. Just let it take its course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eventually it'll stop on its own. It's gonna take over the world. When it takes over the world. You thought Elvis's hips were something. It's nothing compared to this. Elvis's hips can eat a Thanksgiving dick. Tonight, on Mysteries Unsolved, we ask the question, where's Dan Taylor? Beloved poser owner, where has he been? When will we see him again? Who knows? Dan Taylor was last seen boarding a plane in Cambodia with his son, Jock Taylor. But that was the last time anyone had happened to see him. Where did they go? Did they end up in Cambodia? Who knows? Not me. What happened on that fateful flight? Scenario A, they touched down and they're living comfortably in Cambodia. Scenario B, the plane never touched down. They didn't make it. Scenario C, they were attacked and eaten by a werewolf. Scenario D, I joked. Although none of these theories are proven, none of them are disproven. So where's Jock? Where's Dan? Furthermore, who cares? Another mystery? My name's Chomps McDonnelly. Get down with this shit! Get out! The voice of Poser Championship Wrestling. Tell us about Flick growing up. What has he told you? Don't sit and talk about each other's lives. Look, we're on the road at 72 weeks a year. You think that I'm trying to talk to that guy about his youth? So I stopped going to school, and that was... That was fifth grade or so. He was not very good at school. Um, I told him at the age of nine, you should go, you should go wrestle 300 pound men. Um, this is what you should do, it'll toughen you up. And I just got real heavy into watching um, wrestling matches, mostly dog collar matches. They were like, hey, hey, Flick, what was it like, bro? Fuck that, fuck that. I used to uh, have dog collar matches against myself in the bedroom. It was bizarre. And I didn't win many of them. That's even more strange. Your vote does count. Welcome to Homes of Posers Shameless. Hey, hey, what are you doing there? Hey, get, get out of here. Well, I don't want anything. So what are they doing? Get out of here. Yeah, hey, hey, get. <laughs> Hospital at Camp Buddy. That was a very attractive man. Is it difficult for you to work in a business that you helped build that had two such beautiful men as Adam Rogers and beautiful Bradley under one roof? I haven't. And we're going to see them in the same ring going after the soft core championship. Man, I hope you brought your special belt. It's going to be a big one. But next... Interspecies action, as promised, Bananas Foster versus, versus Ricky, a dragon dreambird. Yeah, man. I've got a dream. Just one fall. Bananas Foster, a favorite here in Dayton, Ohio. With Poser Wrestling. Oh, he, what's he got in his hand there? Is it some sort of manifesto? He keeps asking, who? Oh, that kid's a real winner. He seems to have received the manifesto of Bananas Foster. Speaking of winners, Ralph Wells didn't change his pants. Nope, still got that Larry Bird thing going on. She 
she say a dragon? That's Ricky, a dragon dream boat. Oh For my. legal reasons, we want to be very careful. Ricky, a dragon dream boat. Ricky and Dragon coming in real slow. Must be saving his energy for the big match. That looks like he's cool. in hunting gear. No, he's got that real tree camo. Hunting for his victory face. tonight. Going big game hunting against Bananas Foster. What kind of animals did you used to wrestle, Flick? Is a demon an animal? Because I'm still wrestling plenty of demons. I think the hardest animal I ever wrestled was probably an alligator that was crossbred with a lion. Oh yes! A lion Gator. Oh, Lion Gator Thompson! Ricky and Dragon Dean Boat doesn't like getting touched by Ref Wells. Got Let's get this interspecies action on. Saying. Interspecies action in Dayton, Ohio. The monkey roll. Oh, Bananas Foster already taking a dive. Dragon stomps the feet, man. It shakes Earthquake. everything. Whoa. Look at this. Ref Wells doing some biggie ring fucking. I think that's it for Bananas Foster. We better call this one before we get all get arrested for animal cruelty. Yeah. Come on, Conor McGregor, get up! Oh, bananas! Yeah. This lesson. That is no dumb monkey. Staying off the ground. Oh! Ref hasn't caught on quite yet. Maybe he will as the match goes on longer. Deep, deep dragon arm drag. Yeah. He's sizing him up. There we go. Nice traditional lockup. You know, it's hard to know if he's sizing him up or if he's just a goddamn monkey. That's a good point, Chomps. No offense. Neither of these animals are known for sentient thought. I've seen Prince plenty of monkeys doing some pretty important things. The monkey went into space once. You ever been to space? That monkey was a victim of space travel. They had to belt him in and everything. Did you ever watch Gorillas in the Mist? I didn't. Don't spoil it for me. It's impressive. I told you not to spoil it for me, you asshole. That lady, she went right in the jungle and taught all these monkeys how to wrestle. Really? That was crazy. That sounds really good. I think Banana Fosters might have been part of it. I don't Banana know. Foster, he's out of the ring. I think he's done. Ricky and Dragon Greenboat, really challenging. Oh, what is this? That wasn't the original Banana Foster. There's some, some deep shenanigans going on. What is, what is going on? Looks like that Bananas Foster grew about a foot. There's... Are you, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'll tell you what I see is some interspecies bullshittery. There are two fucking monkeys! This is not a two monkeys fucking, but two fucking monkeys! i tell you what, they're fucking pissing me off. That dude's pissed. This audience will not tolerate these shenanigans. Holy crap! What did we just see? What we saw there was some hard and hairy level shenanigans out of two villainous simians, Banana Fosters and his fancy friend. We'll call him Banana Fosters too. I'm sick of it and I will not take it in my wrestling federation. I didn't know that a dragon would just be able to take that. I would think a dragon would be able to take on two monkeys at one time. Well... You always learn something new about the animal kingdom here at Poser Championship Wrestling. And what I've learned is I will not tolerate this interspecies shenanigan anymore. No. Next week, humans on humans, back to traditional fighting for the softcore championship. Oh, is that right? That's next week? That's coming up Holy. next week. Holy crap, that's so fast. I know. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. nervous. What if it's weird? You think it'll be weird? I, I think it might be weird. Oh, it's gonna be so weird. I know. I'm uh I'm ready for the weirdness. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. Uh yeah. This, this show's really weird. Charles McDonnelly, you've, you've kinda lost it. 
You've lost your ass just a bit. Flick the fist meat wood? I never had it. A lot of people have confused vo volume for edge. I'll help you find your edge again. I know a guy, and he knows a way to get that edge back. Are we gonna get a training montage this season? Daddy. You say pita? Pina? Pita? Pita? Big pina? Pita. pita. It's like your vanity license plate. Oh, this that's about the animals and stuff. It is, yeah. I assume. I've, I've gotten plenty of letters from those guys. Poser! Championship Wrestling. Season three, episode three. The Ocho. It's the Trace. God, you're the worst at Spanish. You must be the worst luchador action caller ever. Mi perro está en piano en mi casa. Ocho. All right. <laughs> <laughs>